bluefin tunas, the largest tunas, can be found throughout the world's oceans. Like all species of bluefin, the southern bluefin tuna, which lives in waters across the southern hemisphere, is prized for sushi. Before the turn of the century, exploitation by industrialized fisheries and skyrocketing demand drove the species to the brink of collapse. Traditional fisheries management failed to reverse stock declines, and tensions among fishing nations left them unable to agree on catch cuts, or even on how many bluefin were left in the ocean. Disagreements among the countries fishing for southern bluefin tuna were so profound that the International Tribunal for the Law of the Sea had to intervene in 1999. By 2002, the stock was only a third of the size that existed in the 1980s, despite catch limits in play since 1989. Southern bluefin tuna can take up to 20 years to mature and reproduce, and with only 5% of these adults left from the original unfished population, bluefin was in such dire shape that scientists predicted it would take over a decade to rebuild the stock even if all fishing stopped. In response, the species was listed as critically endangered by the International Union for the Conservation of Nature. A prohibition on all fishing activity seemed inevitable, but instead, southern bluefin tuna would become a spectacular success story. What caused this remarkable turnaround? The Commission for the Conservation of Southern Bluefin Tuna which manages the stock, started implementing harvest strategies, also called management procedures, to rebuild the population. Management procedures are an advanced framework for making fisheries management decisions, such as setting quotas. They set pre-agreed guidelines on how many fish can be caught based on population size, accounting for uncertainty in population, fishery, and environmental dynamics and they also allow for balancing of trade-offs, most importantly, between catch and stock status. Management procedures have revolutionized management of fisheries by overcoming scientific and political impasses and helping populations grow while allowing quotas to increase, improving business. After a concerted development effort by managers and scientists in partnership with stakeholders, the initial management procedure for southern bluefin tuna, known as the Bali procedure, was adopted in 2011. It was the first for any tuna. The overarching objective of the management procedure was to rebuild the adult tuna population by 2035 to 20% of the unfished population size. This interim target was achieved in 2020, a full 15 years ahead of schedule. In 2019, CCSBT adopted a revised management procedure known as the Cape Town Procedure after one of the surveys used to estimate bluefin population size was discontinued. It incorporates cutting-edge genetic tools to estimate fish abundance and mortality and features a higher target of 30% of unfished population size. Both management procedures have been a tremendous success. Catch quotas increased by an incredible 87% between 2011 and 2020. At the same time, the population increased from 5% of the unfished population size in 2010 to 20% in 2020. Using management procedures, the management of southern bluefin tuna has been an inspiration for fisheries around the world, with all other tuna management organizations now developing and implementing management procedures for their priority species. In 2021, in a significant milestone, the IUCN moved southern bluefin tuna from critically endangered to endangered demonstrating that the use of a management procedure helps rebuild stocks without sacrificing catch increases. The management procedure for southern bluefin tuna is a blueprint for the path to long-term sustainability that benefits the fishery, consumers, and the broader health of our oceans.